that then?
This was the Heart Sutra of the Buddha, which means gone beyond, gone, gone beyond. Oh, what an awakening, hallelujah. Gone beyond our differences and our divisions in our minds and go directly to the heart that connects us all. My name is Dina and this is Masood Taj and I'm representing yoga. He's representing Sufism. Thank you.
Good evening. On behalf of Christ Church Cathedral, I welcome you into this beautiful sanctuary, in out of the cold, and huddled around each other and around this beautiful idea that we have this island home that we must come together to protect and preserve. So it is good to have you here in this space. You have seen many of the important things to sign and the things that are being distributed in the back. Um, make this your space this night. Invite yourself to see the windows and the lights and the organ and all of the things and find your story in it. We are grateful to have been part of the planning and the preparation for this day. And we invite you to make this your home. And as we come together, we hope that it encourages us, that we bind ourselves to one another and for this common purpose, for our common home. So there is beautiful music and poetry and all kinds of wonderful things in store for you. So make sure you know the name of your friend beside you and make sure you find the holy in this space in this night so that you'll be inspired to go back out into the world and keep vigil wherever you go, wherever you live, wherever you sleep, um, that we might have a place to give to our great-grandchildren and great-great-grandchildren. It's good to be with you. Good evening, friends. Um, my name is Anita Peebles. I am a Vanderbilt Divinity School student, um, and I'm a member of Glendale Baptist Church, which is one of the newer uh, faith partners in, with Tennessee Interfaith Power and Light. I've also had the privilege of uh, being the chair of the of the Vigil Service Planning Committee, so uh, that's been really fun. Um, so welcome. Uh, I want to thank Reverend Lissa Smith and uh, the whole staff of Christ Church Cathedral, which has made it possible for us to uh, use their parking lot and be in this space, and they've also provided the snacks, so I hope that that's pr uh, providing another aspect of welcome for you in from the cold. Um, so thank you so much for hosting us. Uh, I'd also like to thank um, our partner uh, our partner congregations, which are on the back of the little bulletin. Um, so you can see, uh, see who's uh, officially affiliated, but also know that we have many friends um, who are not listed on here, um, and all of you are welcome this evening, so thank you. I also want to um, thank our planning committee. Um, so if you are a member of the planning committee for either the vigil that was across the street or the poster making or this event right here, please you know, wave your hand or stand up if you feel like it. Uh, so look around, and there are many among us who have made this evening possible. Thank you for your work. And uh, particularly, thank you to Reverend Paul Slentz and Dr. Dan Jarenko um, with the Nashville District Creation Care and with Nashville uh, Tennessee Interfaith Power and Light for, for making this possible. On behalf of the Nashville branch of the Tennessee Interfaith Power and Light, I w want to welcome you to this space and thank you for coming to express your care for the earth, which is our common home. Your presence here reinforces our conviction that care for our planet is a sacred obligation that is, that is shouldered by so many of our world's traditions. We also gather to recommit ourselves to the goals of the Paris Climate Accord, which seeks justice for all creatures and environments on this earth. I'd also like to share with you the mission of Tennessee Interfaith Power and Light, which is to spiritually respond to the challenges of the climate crisis through upholding the sacredness of all life, protecting vulnerable communities, and caring for the earth. We manifest our spiritual values by reducing our carbon footprint within our daily lives, releasing the spiritual power of our, of our faith communities and advocating for transformative climate protection and justice policies. I think that's something that many of us can, can see ourselves in and see ourselves upholding this aspect. So I want to let you know that uh, Reverend Paul Slentz will 
uh, we'll share a little bit more about how you can get involved in interfaith power and light and in larger uh, climate justice uh, organizing here in Nashville and with this organization. So he's going to share about that at the end um, so that we hope that you leave this space empowered to go out and make a change wherever you are with whatever you have with whoever's around you. So for now, know that you are welcome. You're welcome here. You're welcome among us. You're welcome home in this earth, our common responsibility and our common love. Let us celebrate our common home together. Thank you. My name is Reverend Denise Jurgen. I'm the Minister of Unity of Music City in Old Hickory, Tennessee. We are also a faith partner of Tipple. And I ask that in this moment that you take in a breath and you go within as we have an invocation here to begin our evening. Living, loving spirit, we pray for our world. We ask that you remove the walls that separate us and the chains that have held us down. Use us, O oh Holy Spirit, to create a new world that reflects your will, your vision, your love, and your peace. In this moment, we recognize the power you have given us to create anew the world we desire. Now, in this moment, we ask you to illumine our minds. Guide us, O oh sweet spirit, as never before through a great and mighty plan for the healing of our planet. May we no longer be at war with each other. May we no longer be at war with ourselves. Let us forgive the evils of our past, the pain of our common fears, and remove from our hearts the illusion that we are separate. May every nation and every people and every color and every religion find at last the one heartbeat that we share. Through you, living spirit, our father, our mother, may we let go of yesterday and may we focus on your vision. Flow through us tonight. Work through us that we may create and sustain a world that we desire to leave for our children our grandchildren, our great-grandchildren, and beyond. Allow us to leave that legacy as we allow your light to shine within and through us. So may it be, and we say amen and amen. Here's a song that um, I'd like you all to join in. And as we are holding the earth in our hearts, let us remember the trees. What they exhale, we inhale. What we inhale, they exhale. And we are intimately connected to all of the earth. And our bodies are made of the earth. And so we can think of that, meditate on that as we sing this song, and I invite you all to join. You'll get the hang of it real quickly. Or if you would like, just to listen and breathe. When I breathe in, I breathe in peace. When I breathe out, I breathe out love. When I breathe in, I breathe in peace. When I breathe out, I breathe out love. 
Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. When I breathe in, I breathe in peace. When I breathe out, I breathe out love. When I breathe in, I breathe in peace. When I breathe out, I breathe out love. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. I breathe in, I breathe in peace When I breathe out, I breathe out love When I breathe in, I breathe in peace When I breathe out, I breathe out love Breathe in Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Can you guys hear me? Okay, awesome. Um, good evening. My name is Tamara Shahada, and I bring you love and warm greetings from the Islamic Center of Nashville this evening, and its prayers and its blessings for success in the movement towards caring for the earth, the home that we all share. God says in the Holy Quran, it is he who has made this earth subservient to you easy for you to walk on, live on, and do agriculture on. So walk through its tracts and eat of, it, of his provision. God warned us when he said, corruption has appeared throughout the land and see by what the hands of people have earned so he may let them taste part of the consequences of what they have done that perhaps they may return to righteousness. And he commanded us by saying, and do not make mischief on the earth after its reformation. Prophet Muhammad, may God's peace and blessings be upon him, said, 
if the final hour comes and you have a palm cutting in your hands and it's possible to plant it before the hour comes, you should plant it. He also stated, when a believer plants a tree, whatever is eaten from it is considered charity. Whatever is stolen from it is considered charity. And whatever is subtracted from it is considered charity. May God bless our efforts in caring for the earth, and may he watch over us all. Thank you. Hello, I'm Mary Beth Stone from the Temple Congregation Ohabai Shalom. On Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement, the Jews offer viduis or confessions. This is one such vidui from the Reformed Jewish Yom Kippur prayer book. We have assaulted our planet in countless ways. We have blamed others for the spiraling, deepening crisis. We have consumed thoughtful, thoughtlessly and irresponsibly. We have driven myriad species to the point of extinction. We have exhausted irreplaceable resources. We have failed to transcend borders and act unselfishly. We have given in to our many appetites and our gluttony. We have harmed beyond repair the habitats of living beings. We have ignored the signs of change in our climate and our seasons. We have jeopardized the well-being of future generations. We have known the problem, but left problem solving to others. We have lost sight of our role as God's partner in creation. We have mocked cynically those who love creatures great and small. We have neglected the environment, most of all in places of poverty. We have overpopulated our cities and overfished our oceans. We have polluted seashores and sky, fertile soil and fresh water springs. We have questioned and doubted solid evidence of, change, of danger. We have ravaged the old growth forests, ecosystems created over centuries. We have spewed poison into the bloodstream of our land, its rivers, lakes, and estuaries. We have transformed dazzling beauty into industrial ugliness. We have used shared resources for personal gain and corporate profit. We have violated the commandment, do not destroy. We have wasted precious treasures, our God-given gifts. We have exploited the weakest and most vulnerable in our midst. And yet, we yearn to be better guardians of this earth and the fullness thereof. Let us be zealous now to care for this unique corner of the cosmos, this planet, our sacred home. Greetings. My name's Ann Harden, and this is my daughter. I'm Sophie Harden. We um, are from St. Augustine's Episcopal Chapel, uh, which is an Episcopal community. And this is actually a litany of confession and kind of echoes um, what Mary Beth just read. So um, Sophie and I are just going to alternate alternate reading phrases, and if you feel comfortable, please join in with Lord have mercy. God of compassion, have mercy on us. Bring healing and hope to our relationship with your creation. Forgive us, especially our country, for our poor stewardship of the generous resources you have provided us in our common home, planet Earth. 
Lord, Lord have mercy. We recognize that our wrong choices have been at the expense of so many of our brothers and sisters born into poverty and want and are taken away from those who have even yet to be born. Lord, have mercy. Forgive us for our ignorance, our self-centeredness, greed, and exploitation of our Mother Earth by taking more than our share and neglecting or abusing other life and creatures that live together with us on this planet. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Forgive us for our apathy. Wait, is that the right one? Sir? Forgive us for our apathy and hopelessness as we face how far down the wrong path our current economic systems have taken us. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Almighty God, restore in us the desire to be better stewards. Create in us the urgency to encourage our politicians to make the right decisions to turn away from greed and destructive practices that have led us to this place. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Help us to help our leaders embrace the hope that renewable energy can bring jobs to those who are lost in despair. And help us as individuals to develop better habits to help preserve and heal our planet for our future generations. Lord, have mercy. Dear God, please guide, please guide us and help us. We are your children. We want to learn and grow into becoming the stewards you created us to be, to better care for and heal the beautiful and abundant creation you have brought us into, so we may reflect your glory, your goodness, and your mercy, and bring hope to our future generations. In your loving, holy, and mighty name we pray. Amen. Good evening. Good evening. I bring you a song from my Cherokee ancestors. This is a song called Cherokee Morning Song. And the Cherokee believed that we are all connected through the Great Spirit. Everything that has life has the Great Spirit. And so this is a song, it's very simple, and if you feel like singing along, please do. It's called uh, Cherokee Morning Song. and. It just kind of goes like this. Uh, I'm going to give you the English translation, and then I'm going to sing it in Cherokee. I am of the Great Spirit, it is so. I am of the Great Spirit, it is so. I am of the Great Spirit, I am of the Great Spirit, it is so, it is so. Great Spirit, Great Spirit, Great Spirit. It's very simple. The word for Great Spirit in Cherokee is Ya. And the word for it is so is Ho. So when I say ho, it means kind of like an amen or a it is so. So it's not exclusive to Santa Claus. Uh, <laughs> if you feel like singing along, especially in the last part where I'm going yah, 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 please do and think of the great spirit and us all being part of it. tradition of going to water and every morning Cherokee believe that uh, if they go down to the water and wash in the water it is like communing with the Great Spirit and it's a purification ritual I'm gonna go down to the water Go down to the water, 
Let my feet touch the stony bed Feel the beauty of my mother In her quiet strength of rest So come with me to the water Greet the morning with an open heart Let your cares float in the wind Now I'm a child of the water I'm a sister of the wind I'm a All the earth is my kin So come with me to the water Come back to where we begin Greet the morning with an open heart Let your cares float in the Buddhism is a nature-friendly religion. It is its stress that we are not set apart from the nature, but we are that we are part of it. 2,600 years ago, Gautam Buddha attained enlightenment under, the, under a tree in a forest. Buddha's compassion towards all living things does not refer only human beings, but also for every manifestation of life on the earth. He states, walk softly upon this earth giving what you can, taking only what you need. Buddha's teaching on Four Noble Truths is that the human beings are suffering because of our endless desire, greed, and craving that lead us to non-stop competitions and unnecessary demands. Buddhism emphasizes that we should, not, should, we should let go of this desire and greed in order to end, end suffering. When we are internally polluted, that causes the external pollution. When one's mind is purified, actions are purified. So dear friends, it is time for us to carefully reconcile our actions towards our Mother Earth. It is our common home. Before I go on, let me read this Buddhist declaration on environment from the book Earth and Faith, published by the United Nations Environmental Program. Buddhism is a religion that committed towards the ideal, ideal of nonviolence. As such, it also attached great importance to protection of the environment on which every being in this world depends for survival. The conservation of the environment, restoration of the imbalance caused by our negligence is to be implemented with courage and concrete action before it is too late. May Buddha bless you. Thank you. Uh, we represent the Sikh temple here in Nashville. Uh, our holy book is uh, Sri Guru Granth Sahib. So I'm going to read a stanza from our morning prayer. It respects the mother nature, uh, which uh, the main subject today. Uh, this is how it goes. Air is the guru, water is the father, and earth is the great mother of all. Day and night are the two nurses in whose lap all the world is at play. The record of good deeds and bad deeds is read out in the presence of the Lord of Dharma, that's the justice. According to their own actions, some are pulled closer and some are kept away depending on 
their actions. Those who have meditated on the name of the Lord and have departed after having worked by the sweat of their brow. O Nanak, this is our first guru who started the prayer. So this is, this is the written by him, O Nanak. He says to himself, their faces are radiant in the court of the Lord and many are saved by doing good deeds. My name is Swaran and I represent the Gurdwara of uh, Nashville too. I have a, I'm re going to read the script from Guru Granth Sahib. The one divine mother conceived and gave birth to three deities. One, the creator of the world. One, the sustainer of the world. One, the destroyer of the world. God makes things happen according to the pleasure of his will. Such is his celestial order. He watches over all, but none see him. He is wonderful, they says. I humbly bow to him, the primal one, the pure light without end. Throughout all ages, he is one and the same. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening. My name is B. Leff, and I represent Unity of Music City along with Reverend Denise Jurgen. The reading we've chosen for tonight's service was offered to the General Assembly of the United Nations in 2007. It was part of a grassroots movement of mothers called standing women. These women stand silently in public places to raise consciousness to the importance of protecting our earth for future generations. You can learn more at standingwomen.org. Here's the reading. We are standing for the world's children and grandchildren and for the seven generations beyond them. We dream of a world where all of our children have safe drinking water, clean air to breathe, and enough food to eat. A world where they have access to a basic education to develop their minds and health care to nurture their growing bodies. A world where they have a warm, safe, and loving place to call home. A world where they don't live in fear of violence, in their home, in their neighborhood, in their school, or in their world. This is the world of which we dream. This is the cause for which we stand. Thank you all for standing for the future of our world from the bottom of my heart. Good evening. Uh, my name is Heather Hickson, and I am here representing both uh, Keep Southeast Nashville Healthy, and I also attend Hope Park Church out in Bellevue. I'm Mia Webb, and I go to Glendale Baptist Church. Um, we're going to be sharing with you a litany of gratitude. Um, it's going to require some participation from you. Um, when we indicate, if it, it reads in your bulletin, if you'll respond with, we rejoice in all life. We live in all things. All things live in us. We rejoice, rejoice in all life. We live by the sun. We move with the stars. We, we rejoice, rejoice in all life. We eat from the earth. We drink from the rain. We breathe, fr we breathe from the air. We, we rejoice, rejoice in all life. We share with the creatures. We have strength through their gifts. We rejoice in all life. We depend on the forests. We have knowledge through their secrets. We rejoice in all life. We have the privilege of seeing and understanding. 
We have the responsibility of caring. We have the joy of celebrating. We, we rejoice, rejoice in all life. We are full of the grace of creation. We are graceful. We are, we are grateful. grateful. We, we rejoice, rejoice in all life. Good evening. Good evening. Um, we thought that this would take longer than it has. Everybody's been so disciplined. <laughs> Thank you so much for the powerful readings um, and sharings and songs. Uh, my name is Paul Slentz, and I am a United Methodist pastor appointed to the Creation Care Ministry of the Tennessee Conference of the United Methodist Church. I am also uh, currently in the exalted uh, title of president of Tennessee Interfaith Power and Lights State Steering Committee. And um, I'm not sure what that gets me other than more work. Um, but, uh, and also uh, with Dan Jaranko, my, my good colleague, uh, we help coordinate the Nashville chapter of Tennessee Interfaith Power and Light. And uh, once again, just want to thank all of you for, for being here and, and by your presence, uh, both here um, now and outside earlier, uh, demonstrating your, your care for the earth, this incredible gift that we have. And, and uh, thank you again so much to everybody who made presentations tonight and who shared from their hearts about how important that is, coming from all of our many different faith traditions, and of course, including some that were not represented tonight as well. Um, I did just want to, as before we wrap things up with a final song, just to say about some things that we would like for you to, to consider um, in terms of actions as we, as we leave this place. And there are, there are four things, and I'll go through them quickly. Uh, first of all, we all do have a uh, personal role um, to play in mitigating climate change by shrinking our carbon footprint. And so I hope that we will all um, look into our own lives about how we can do that. And also, very importantly, that many of us are coming from different houses of worship, but that we can go back to our houses of worship and, and help our faith communities to think about the different steps that can be taken to reduce um, the carbon footprint and to, to walk more uh, tenderly upon um, this good earth. And uh, if you need help thinking about that, um, the, our contact information is on that. Oh, by the way, this, this is all in reference to the handout that you have. I should have said that first. There's a handout uh, that's part of your, with your bulletin, and, and all of these points are, are there as well. Uh, but our contact information is there. Uh, the second thing is that individual actions, I think, are absolutely necessary and so important, but they are not enough. Uh, there has to be actions by governments and much larger inter institutions and international action. And that, why, that is why one of our main themes for tonight is that in spite of the fact that President Trump has announced uh, the dis his decision to withdraw from the Paris Climate Accords, it's so important that we say, uh, no, uh, we as a people are still in, and that we work together uh, with different institutions, with state governments, with local governments, with corporations, and with our houses of worship, and just in every way we can um, to say that uh, we are going to work to meet the goals of the Paris Climate Accord. And uh, so there's a couple things that we're, we're asking uh, people to do. Uh, one is that um, you, with this handout, there's a, a, a sample letter that we could write to Governor Haslam, uh, because many states are beginning to become part of this We Are Still In campaign, and uh, we would like for Governor Haslam to at least know that that's what we would like for, for Tennessee to do. And uh, so please write a letter to him. Uh, we also have postcards in the back um, that also have this same message. And uh, again, there's a sample letter on the back uh, that is really well written that might serve you as an example. The other thing is, in terms of speaking out about this, is that we hope that you will come um, again, get out in the cold, bundle up, but come to um, March, a rally in March, which will be this Saturday from 10 to 1.30. 
10 o'clock, there'll be a rally at the Sally Beeman Park right next to uh, Green Hills Library out in Green Hills area, and we will march. Uh, there'll be musicians and speakers there, and then we will march over to Hillsborough Road, and with a, there'll be a lot of traffic there, and, and uh, march up and down Hillsborough Road, and then, and then back to the park. So uh, please come on Saturday for that. Uh, just two more things. Uh, one is that um, uh, we, the interfaith movement for Care for the Earth is growing here in Middle Tennessee, and we really uh, feel that Tennessee Interfaith Power and Light is a very important part of that. And so we urge you to become a member. Uh, it's easy, there are no dues. Uh, it's just a matter of, of signing up and there are sign up sheets in the, in the back if you're not already a, a member and we really hope that you will very seriously consider that. Uh, the other thing is that, uh, as was mentioned earlier, we ha now have many faith partners uh, from different congregations and houses of worship and we would hope that you would um, look into the possibility of your um, house of, of worship becoming a faith partner with Tennessee Interfaith Power and Light. And again, if you have questions about how to do that, you can be in touch with uh, either Dan Jaranko or myself about that. Uh, we also have meetings uh, once a month, the fourth Monday of each month uh, at Holy Name Catholic Church, 6.30. Uh, we won't have it in December because the fourth Monday happens to be Christmas Day and we don't think the turnout would be very good. Um, so we're skipping December, but we will be meeting in January. So please come to that. And the information about filling, uh, becoming a member is in the back. Just filling out the form is all it takes. And uh, finally, um, uh, as a pastor, uh, we never bring people together without asking them for money. Um, and uh, you're supposed to laugh at that, <laughs> but, but uh, don't get scared. <laughs> but uh, anyway, we are an all-volunteer organization, and um, we don't have a lot of expenses, but we do have some uh, to put on events like this and to, to do various other things. And so uh, just at the back as you leave, uh, there will be a, a, a few people with uh, baskets in their, in their hands, and, uh, uh, and if you don't mind uh, putting a little... Uh, cash in there. We do take cash. No, no Bitcoin, uh, but we, we do take cash. And, uh, and checks can be made out to the Southern Alliance for Clean Energy, or SACE, which is our, our fiscal sponsor. Um, but again, I'm just I'm thankful for everyone for being here, for, for Anita and her great job of planning this service, and Denise helped out so much with that, and a number of other people, and, and, um, and uh, just for Christ Church for hosting this, and uh, we are just really, really grateful, and it's, it's, this has been a powerful evening, and thank you so much, and we're going to end on a good rousing closing note with uh, Tom, Tom Anglin, so Tom, come lead us, please. Good evening. Good evening. As I'm sure uh, many of you know, this song was written by Woody Guthrie, and perhaps some of you also know that Woody was a political animal. Yeah. His cause was not climate change, as we had not quite messed things up so badly when he was still with us. Um, he, of course, was active in the labor movement and other things. He once wrote, I ain't a communist exactly, but I've been in the red all my life. <laughs> but if, uh, if Woody were around, I know that this would be a cause that he would care about. The lyrics of this song are evidence of that. And he uh, crisscrossed this country on freight trains and boxcars and wrote effusively in his songs and his prose about nature and the beauty of uh, our country. As I was walking that ribbon of highway, I saw above me that endless skyway. I saw below me those golden valleys. This land was made for you and me 
This land is your land This land is my land From California To the New York Island From the Redwood Forest To the Gulf Stream Wall This land was made for you and me I roamed and rambled, sweet if you know it, followed my footsteps to the sparkling sands of her diamond desert. And all around me, a voice came chanting, this land was made for you and me. this evening for braving the cold. We're so grateful for this time together. Go in peace.